Have you ever pondered why an increasing number of women are opting to freeze their eggs? This intriguing shift in reproductive choices is a topic that's been catching the attention of researchers and journalists alike. A recent exploration of this phenomenon is found in the book Motherhood on Ice by Yale anthropologist Marcia C. Inhorn. In the early 2000s, a method known as oocyte vitrification emerged, allowing women to freeze their eggs for later use. Initially, this technology was primarily for women undergoing chemotherapy or experiencing medical conditions causing infertility. However, in 2012, the American Society for Reproductive Medicine expanded the practice to allow non-medical egg freezing. By the end of 2019, over 36,000 women in the U.S. had utilized this technology. Inhorn's research has found that contrary to popular assumptions, the majority of women who chose to freeze their eggs were in their 30s and motivated by partnership problems. These women faced a shortage of eligible, educated, and equal partners. This mating gap, an oversupply of college-educated women, and an undersupply of college-educated men, contributes to the popularity of egg freezing. Despite the logistical difficulty and high cost of egg freezing, it serves as a bridging technology for women who want to buy time at the end of their reproductive lifespan. Inhorn suggests that unless the mating gap is addressed, egg freezing may continue to grow in popularity. In a different corner of the world, Rika Tajima, a 34-year-old woman from Japan, shares her journey of traveling to London to freeze her eggs. Feeling pressured by societal expectations and wanting to have more choices for herself in the future, Rika found a startup called Milvia, which helps patients book trips for egg freezing and IVF abroad. The cost of egg freezing in the US is around $11,000, while in the UK it is around $4,000. Rika chose London because of its established egg freezing options and also because she wanted to explore the city. Interestingly, China is also grappling with fertility issues, but from a different perspective. Facing a declining birth rate and population decrease, the Chinese government has announced coverage for fertility treatments starting in July. The coverage will include various treatments such as IVF, embryo transplantation, and semen freezing. In conclusion, the motivations and circumstances leading women to freeze their eggs are diverse and complex. From seeking more time to find a suitable partner, to societal pressures, to economic factors, these reasons echo the intricate nature of modern womanhood. As we move forward, it will be interesting to see how these trends evolve and shape the future landscape of reproductive choices.